Against all odds, next morning I got up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And I had my kind, unknown assailants to thank. The beating had taken its toll, but for the first time in months, I had slept like a baby. Oh, come on, Helen, focus! All right, take five. We'll work on that double backhand later. Well, Mr. Blackmore, what can I do for the FBI? What every blue-blooded American should do. Ride the wave of success. On a global scale, if possible. <laughs> yeah, sure. We have to beat those commies on every battlefield, be it in Korea, a clay court, or Wimbledon. But that's not what you mean, right? Maybe if we could speak in private? Coming! You've got four minutes, Mr. Blackmore, so... Make them count? They say you're currently involved with Al Stone, the boxer. Is that correct? Wow. The FBI sure knows what it's doing. So, out of the 100 million Americans who know about that, who did you extort to get such highly confidential information? Don't beat around the bush. We know why you're with him. Oh, so you like his biceps too. Desmond O'Leary asked you to seduce Stone. Why? What? No, I met Al by chance at a party. A party hosted by Desmond O'Leary. No, that can't be. No one is that shrewd. Not even him. Damn, I hate that bastard. We know you smuggle contraband during your international tournaments. Oh, really? Are you sure? Like, what exactly? Hmm. I think she called my bluff. Or did she? Should I follow through or say I was kidding? You smuggle jewelry. <laughs> You're just making it up as you go, aren't you? To think I was starting to like you. Come on, what do you really want from me? We know about you and Desmond O'Leary. Wow, your sagacity never ceases to amaze me. Wait, I get it. They must wrap your FBI sandwiches in gossip magazines. The thing is, well... <sighs> you see, I'd love to wipe out that part of my past, but whatever. Do you have any regrets? Ads pay more than trophies. Can you believe it? Being associated with such a shady character could only damage my reputation. Trust me. Never get involved with a married man. We're aware of at least six rigged games during your first year as a professional player. And? You won all of them. <laughs> Are you trying to offend me? I give my all on the court. I can't be held accountable if my rivals don't do the same. Go interrogate them. In any case, now I know why you mentioned O'Leary. What do you really have against him? And don't say illegal gambling. Illegal gambling? I see you don't want to tell me. Although, maybe I can guess. Oh yeah! Smuggling jewelry. I'm serious, Miss Moore. America can't afford to let anyone shake its foundations like that. 
and America's sweetheart can't afford it either. Help us out. Talk to us. And why should I, Mr. Blackmore? What do I stand to gain or lose? I'm sure you're aware that we could end your career if what we know goes public. But no one wants that to happen, right? This is actually quite simple. One lucky gal. You have a light, sir? <laughs> the pearly white teeth of someone who barely smokes. Am I making her nervous? Damn. I'm almost out of fluid. Want to know my trick? Go down to start, then up with it, and then down again. Don't worry, I'm not making any assumptions about your masculinity. Thanks. I don't know what you want me to say. You're trying to frame O'Leary, perhaps rightfully so, but I think you're barking up the wrong tree. Believe me. If I had the slightest... Come on, Helen. <sighs> Time to work on your backhand. Let's go. <sighs> Do you smoke? Nice meeting you, Mr. Blackmore. Did you bring my water? She tossed the cigarette in your face? <laughs> You're such a loser! <laughs> Too bad I was busy chasing Cassidy. If that had been me, America would no longer have a sweetheart. <laughs> so, what do you say, you and me, we change places next time, huh? Your turn. Now tell me, what did you find out? Ah, you're gonna love this. You ready? I've got news. But I happen to also have a pla- uh. Black Sad. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Black Sad. Huh? Oh, Mrs. Colbert. My husband woke me up this morning with roses and breakfast in bed. He said he had a scare last night, although he won't give me any details, and that he's been thinking about me ever since. He wants to take me to Niagara Falls for a second honeymoon. <laughs> That's nice, but I don't know why you're thanking me. Are you kidding? Remember how I doubted him, but you made me change my mind? If he had suggested to take me to Niagara Falls when I still suspected him, I would have thought it was just a cover. Or worse still, a way to clean his conscience. Well, I only did my job as honestly as I could. Enjoy your marriage. I hope you and your husband are happy. Uh, but what just happened? Is there anything you didn't tell me? Maybe. But now it's your turn. Tell me about Cassidy. Mm -hmm. Come on, spit it out. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't find anything suggesting that Cassidy had anything to do with Dunn's murder, but... That's quite the tale. But I know Cassidy will be playing poker tonight with one Howard M. Farnham II, a Texas tycoon looking to get his claws on the boxing business. I also know that he and Cassidy have never met in person, and that Farnham, who's staying at the Balford Hotel, hasn't left his room. Apparently, he spent the night with three bottles of bourbon. So, here's my incredible plan. I'll go to the hotel. <laughs> I'd knock him out. Huh. And then, take his place in the poker game. That way, I'll get Cassidy talking. What do you think? Incredible, right? Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. Didn't we agree that you would handle Helen more while I dealt with Cassidy next time? No?